investigates tonight. It's a practice at the MBTA that's been in place for decades, wasting millions of dollars each year. Kathy Curran first exposed how the T was paying drivers to stay home during their shifts and then paying others overtime to fill in. Now, as Kathy tells us, it's all about to come to an end. Here's the old pencil and paper shift pick system used by hundreds of MBTA drivers and operators to hand pick their schedules four times a year. It's a system that five investigates discovered forced the T to pay many bus drivers, train and trolley operators to stay home and paid other drivers overtime to fill their shifts. The PIC system is a paper-based system. It hasn't changed in more than 50 years. We have more than 25,000 man hours a year involved in just supervising the PIC. That system resulted in schedules like this. Here, a train operator is scheduled to be behind the wheel from 6.10 p.m. to 2 in the morning. His next shift is supposed to start at 6.20 that same morning, but he needs 10 hours of required rest, so he can't drive again until noon. That driver will get paid to stay home for almost four hours and another will rake in overtime filling in. The cost, including managing the system, equals about $3 million a year. But this agreement between the T and the Carmen's union will eliminate the waste with a new electronic rostering system for scheduling. This will give us, as Brian explained, just the ability to really have these optimized schedules. The new system is just part of the cost-saving measures in the deal approved by the T's Fiscal Management Control Board. It comes in the wake of the threat of jobs being outsourced. The system is still old and in need of repair. It will take all of us working together to help bring our riders the transportation system they deserve. We need to do everything we can at the T to provide better service to our riders and save money. Every dollar counts. Now, in total, this agreement is expected to save about $81 million in four years. It defers a pay hike that was supposed to happen this summer and doesn't allow overtime until 40 hours are worked. The new scheduling system should be up and running within the next year. Kathy Curran, 5 Investigate. Excellent.